What's going on? My name's Chris, and uh, this is part 13 of my acoustic guitar build. This is the first acoustic guitar I've ever built, and I'm building it from scratch. So, like I said, part 13, there's 12 other parts you can see to this point. So, I've got a heel cap in my hand. Well, I guess I put it like this. I've got to clean it up still. I just finished gluing it. So, I've got the fingerboard attached to the guitar, as you saw in the last video, and I'm ready to start working on the neck. Uh, i got to get that thing shaped, and uh, it's going to start you know really looking like a finished guitar when I get done with that part so let's jump back a few hours I'll tell you how I got to this point alright I'm getting prepared to shape the neck and what I've done is taken the time to make a little jig here that can hold the neck for me as I shape it so I've seen some of this on Instagram before when I've watched other people shape their necks I've got this repair vise here which I bought close to a year ago when it was on sale thought I would need it <laughs> so many people using this thing I thought I needed to go ahead and get it when it was on sale so I did what I did was I cut a 14 degree angle here on the top and the bottom and cut a notch out so that I can put a clamp on here and clamp the headstock and then I cut a notch out here so that I can clamp the fingerboard and that will allow me to be able to do this like I need to and then be able to shape the neck like I need so I was getting ready to start shaping and I realized I probably need to go ahead and make a heel cap so let me bring you in and I'll show you what I'm thinking here are my thoughts on the matter um, I already kind of pointed out how the heel is thicker on this side than on this side. So my thinking is if I keep the top straight, it's going to be very obvious that I have a misshapen heel. It's going to kind of point out the bow that I have in the body, at the top of the body, like I pointed out in the last video. So my thought was, well maybe if I just accentuate how thin it gets on this side, perhaps maybe shape my heel more at an angle so it's not straight across, that'll kind of hide the fact that there's a problem with the body. So I did happen to find the piece of ebony I was gonna use, and I realized I think that, that actually the grain is gonna have to go this way, up and down. So I don't think I could use it like this, at least I think it's better if it goes this way. I was on Instagram and I found this guitar builder who has a heel shaped like this. He comes up here and then he angles back down like this. I thought it looked pretty cool. And I was thinking something like that might help me hide the fact that my heel is not shaped evenly. So I don't have a piece of ebony that's wide enough to have the grain running this way. So this is my thought. I've got these cut off pieces from the sides before I thickness them. And they're about the same thickness as the ebony. So what if I cut this here, I cut a piece off here of, the, of this, put another piece here and I kind of like put this any rosewood strip in the middle. That would give me something wide enough where I can use the ebony like I wanted to. I mean, I know people have probably done this before. I, I haven't seen it, but I'm not saying it's something unique. I'm just trying to get something wider so I can use the ebony. That's all I'm doing here. What if I did that? What if I laminated a piece, three pieces together and that strip would be in the middle? I don't know, I think it would look kind of cool. So I think I might try to do that. If, if, if it doesn't work, what I can do is just use a piece of Indian rosewood. Okay, this is what I'm trying to rig up to see if I could make this lamination here. You can see I've got the ebony, rosewood, and ebony. I've clamped two pieces of wood down, and I'm going to use my wedges from my uh, plate joining jig, and I'll use this clamp with another piece of wax paper on top to keep them down, and then wedge them and let it dry. <laughs> Doesn't seem like anything will go wrong. Uh, man, I hope not. But I got my glue. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Alright, I think that's gonna work. Let me tap these in place a little better. Well, I guess I'll let it dry and then I'll come back to you and show you what it looks like. Alright, check it out. Look what I did. I made a cut right here. That is specifically for the ability to do this. Can do it. Now I have access to the side of the neck. And I think actually the first step yeah. is to get this almost all the way down to the binding of the fretboard. So what I'm gonna do is take my plane, I think, and just start working on this. You're in the camera. Okay. Yeah. Right, so I'm gonna do that, and then uh, I'll be ready for the next step. The next step. Yeah. Gotta tighten this. There you are. Ooh, this is my house. Stay right there. Oh, I can hide. Your head's in the way. Oh, sorry.
Yeah, it's gonna take a little while, so I'll come back to you. Ah! Check it out, it's the first time I've ever used a spoke shave. It's gonna be interesting trying to sharpen this little tiny blade. What, Daddy? Anyway, just wanted to show you. So I'm taking a little break from the uh, planing on the neck. And I've got this little heel cap that I made. I dropped it and one of the halves broke off. So I had to re-glue it together. But what I decided I'm going to do is, well, let me back up. Uh, it needs to be a little bit thicker. Plus, um, in order to keep all three parts together, sure, and to make it a little thicker, I think I'm going to glue it down to a substrate, which is going to be a piece of rosewood. So that this is going to glue down here. It'll make it a little bit thicker, and it'll be like just a dual layer, multicolored <laughs> ebony and rosewood heel cap. So I've got it glued together. I've got my sanding beam here, and I'm just sanding on one on the one side that I'm going to glue down. Just trying to evenly sand across the whole thing until I get the glue gone. Once the glue is removed completely, I'll glue it down to that. Whether this actually ends up working or not, I have no idea, but see I've got it clean, I'll glue that down right there. Okay, we get in a couple more clamps on here and then I'll just let that dry. This side is almost flush, you know, it's just a little bit over. But I can't get all the way through with my plane, so I'm working on this currently with my chisel. I'm just slowly going to work on this until I can get it brought down to the same level that it is back here. I'm just going to try to take it really slow. I don't want to accidentally jack something up. Let me finish this and I'll catch back up with you. Gotten as close as I feel comfortable getting right now. Pretty straight right here. There's a little hump, but I did as much as I could with the chisel. So now I've got like a scraper. This is like a thicker scraper than the other one I have. So I'm just gonna try to get this down flush, even with the binding. Not really bending my car too much. I'm trying to keep it pretty straight. And I'll come back to you. I'm done with this side. It's pretty much flush. But I just want to show you this. Somehow I've managed to chip out the very corner of this heel. So that means the heel's not going to be as wide as I want it to be because I'm going to have to get past this chip out on the very corner. And I think I did it with my car scraper. Some, I was doing this and somehow I caught the edge and the burr. Just kind of caught it and chipped it off. You gotta be careful right there. I'm just gonna try to plane down past that until it levels out and do the same thing from the other side. But so let me flip this over and I'll do everything all over again to the other side. And just turn it over this way. Alright, get to start all over on this side. It'll take a while. I'll come back to you. It's been a couple of days since I started on this and I finally got this, uh, you know, I started on the other side. And over the last two days I spent getting the sides even with the uh, binding. And it's just barely proud of it. So i got my scraper and I'm just getting that down smooth with it. So now I need to put the heel cap on before I go any farther, I think. So I've got this piece that I glued together. And I've got to clean it up and then I've got to cut the shape out and uh, put it on there. So I got to figure out how I'm going to go about doing that. I cleaned up the surface a little bit and I trimmed off both ends. So that's going to sit right there. But um, this stripe in the middle, I'm going to kind of offset it a little bit. As I mentioned before, this side of the heel is thicker than this side because of the hump in, in the sides here that I'll put in there myself. Plus you can see how thin the binding is. <laughs> That's a typical beginner error from what I read. And I got it really thin. It's not that I got it thin, it's just that when I uh, scraped it, I guess I was scraping at an angle and I thinned out the edge. Whatever. So this is gonna sit about like this. Kinda like what you see on the screen. I'm gonna come up to here and then, and then kinda taper it off this way. I think it's gonna mask the uh, fact that this heel is thinner on this side. So what I need to do, you know, I've got this uneven 
spot right here, I need to sand this bottom part to perfectly match the uh, guitar body here so that it sits flush. So what I'm going to do, I think, is take some sandpaper and put it here and just kind of rub this on the top. I'm going to try that and see if that works. Update. This is what I've ended up with. You can see how I've got that little stripe there off centered. So what I need to do is figure out exactly how I'm going to draw this. Like if I come up here, something like that. So I'm going to go to the bandsaw and uh, cut this angle off of there. And I think that I can, I should be able to refine this, these lines a little bit, and then I can paste it on. I really don't want to mess this up. I thought about just leaving it straight, but then I've got this off centered stripe, which looks kind of weird if I just left it straight like that. So let me go ahead and do that. There you go. Let me try to straighten out those edges and uh, I can go ahead and glue that on. And then once it's glued, I can chisel out this these high spots and then start to ease it in. I guess. I guess. I'm not really sure. I'm just guessing what to do right now. Well, that'll do for now. Gotta let it dry. I'm about to start carving on this with a. Chi I'm gonna take a chisel and just work this edge down to this, to where the top of the heel plate is, the heel plate, the heel cap. So what I want to do is draw a line on there. I'm just, this, I'm just making this up too. I mean, I got a basic gist idea from watching Robbie carve his, but. He didn't do this type of heel. His was more narrow in the video. So, And with the fact that I'm carving this off of the body, I'm just kind of taking a different approach. I haven't really watched anybody do this. I figured I'd just put my square on there and draw a line. Here's my stacked heel cap. I can see the joint right here. So I guess I'll need to come up to that. At least, that's just what I'm guessing. What I've got to do is nibble all this off. I probably will make it curve up some before I get to that line because I don't want to just go straight. I'm gonna have to have a curve there, so I'm just trying to eye that. I think <laughs> just sharpened my honed my chisel, rehoned it, and I'm just gonna kind of choke up on the top of it, I think, and then just try to nibble away. I don't know what the best angle is to come at this at, really. I mean, obviously this is going to take me quite some time. My main goal is just to, like I said, eat away from this side and try to go as straight back as I can without taking out too much. Okay. All right, I think that's going to do it for now that way. I may work a little bit right here on that and come down this way come the opposite way and get kind of close to the line like right as close as i am to the line right there i may try to work this down about close to that as well I'm trying to de determine how i'm going to make this transition like this line i have drawn here where this point comes to i know it's got to flatten out eventually and work its way up here but
I just started working on this, rounding it over, and I've got this template that I ordered from LMI. It goes with the OM plan that I'm using here. I guess it's supposed to match the plan. I'm just going to be checking this as I round over the neck to make sure that I'm where I'm supposed to be. So I'm going to keep using this, whatchamacallit, spoke shave. So, um, I've got this Shinto rasp. I bought this before I watched the videos. I've just seen people using this thing. So I thought I might need it. <laughs> I haven't used it yet. But for now, I'm just going to use the spoke shave. That seems to be working okay. Catch back up with you when I get to a stopping point. And this thing takes off a lot of material. <laughs> I gotta be careful. I'm trying to get this part here down a little farther so I can smooth this section out. Uh, I gotta be careful. You can see I'm, I'm starting to work on the volute a little bit just to get the, the basic shape. Um, there were parts of this that I kind of chipped out so I've had to bring it down just a little bit. But I'm gonna have to work on these where this flares out here because I didn't realize what I was doing but when I was getting the sides down to width with the block plane I guess I was going and I was hitting right here so I dented it. <laughs> so I need to be careful about that next time. I, don't, I dented this so I'm gonna have to modify it and make it flare up a little bit farther just to get rid of those dents. But for now, I need to bring this section down so that I can get, you know, all the way up with my um, spoke shave. I can get a little bit of this right here. But to be able to transition this all the way down, I need to bring this down because my spoke shave hits right there and prevents me from really getting down to where I need to right here. So I'm just going really slowly. I worked on the heel a little bit. I'm working on the neck and now I'm working on the top transition right here. And uh, one note I'll make is I know that I, I realized later that I probably needed a thicker piece of veneer for the back. I used a little 0.6 millimeter piece, but now having looked at a lot of pictures, it looks like a lot of people use the same stock as they use for the head plate. It's probably what I was supposed to use. So I need to be really careful that I don't burn through this little veneer. I'll know for the next guitar I'll, I'll do a thicker piece, but for now I'm going to try to go with what I have and just try to round over this part. Kind of use the Shinto rasp a little bit to get right up to it but you gotta be really careful so I think now I'm gonna switch over to file where did I put that file here it is and start uh kind of really slowly going at it but I really need to get this hump here down so let me keep working still got a good ways to go right here center looks kind of pretty close and the head is getting there I've been looking for any you know gaps like I'm still kind of high right here looks pretty straight right here it's like my halo have a high spot right here just another update for you this is going to take a while but it, you know it's not as uh, bad as I thought it was going to be I mean it's it just kind of kind of I'm trying to take my time not rush through it and just do a little bit and just kind of work the whole thing a little bit down here a little bit here then a little bit up here just till it looks to my eye to be okay and of course after this i'll take sandpaper and smooth it out but all i can do now is just keep going yeah it's the second time Well, you know, from my first experience doing this, I can't complain. It came out better than I thought it would. To be sure, there were some issues, and I questioned myself a lot of times. What in the world? I just noticed a dent in the in the uh, binding right there. I just looked down and saw it. It's probably from whenever I dropped the neck onto the cement floor. There's a spot in the headstock here that the ebony's chipped out, and there's a little hole. So I think what I'm going to do for that, it looks like it's in a spot where I can fill it with some black super glue, maybe. Here, I had some issues. I didn't realize what I was doing was I was hitting this part of the headstock. So I had a dent in both sides. I did the same thing. So I had to shape up past that and get through that dent. And plus, when I 
cut the headstock out with my bandsaw. I just got way too close to the line. Uh, first I filed a little bit and then I took it to the oscillating spindle sander and just very carefully just tried to make both sides match. I had to work a lot right here. It seemed like it, was, it took forever to get the meat off of that part and I just filed and filed and filed. The volute, you know, that wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. I thought it would be more difficult. Uh, it didn't come out looking too bad and I have it flaring out just right here. Tried to play a couple of chords, you know, there's a G, there's an F, you know, there's a C, D. It feels about right. Just playing chords, you know. And uh, coming up here, you know, it'd be A, B, C sharp minor, stuff like that. So all in all, I I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It wasn't a disaster like I thought it would be. I was really concerned about having to fix these parts, but you know, I think it's passable. I think it passes. It doesn't look horrendous. All right, so now I want to put this on the body, attach it to the body, bolt it on, and take a look at it to see what it looks like. Man, this is cool. I gotta say, this is a great feeling. Look at it. I don't even know what to say. It's just so cool looking at this. Oh my gosh. Can't even explain how I feel right now looking at this. This is so cool looking. Let's get a look at this, if I can make it focus on it. So there you go. See? All right, there's the volute. The volute. How many times I'm gonna say that wrong? Not too bad, I mean, really. Oh, but anyway, it's uh, just, just a really cool feeling to have this much done. And I made an absolute mess. I mean, I, I didn't clean up any. I started rounding over yesterday and I was able to finish it up today. And, uh, but man, I didn't clean my, my table up at all. It's an absolute garbage mess just from the files and everything I was using while I was working on this. So uh, thanks so much for watching this much of the series. And you know, I can't believe I've made it this far. Uh, my Instagram is at CMRWood. I'm putting regular updates out on my guitar build anytime I'm working on it. So if you want to follow me and see how things are going in between videos, you can follow me at, at CMRWood on Instagram. Uh, Facebook is just CMR Woodworks if you want to look for me there. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye.